first few weeks of uh, Lent, we're taking a look at our lives, and the two readings that we hear today are very, very explicitly about that. So let's continue that reflection on uh, where we're at in our relationship to God and how we respond to his call, and ask for God's mercy for any lack of generosity. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to the fullness of everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the bishop, St. Cyril of Jerusalem, led your church in a wonderful way to a deeper sense of the mysteries of salvation, grant us through his intercession that we may so acknowledge your Son as to have life ever more abundantly. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord, my God, has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has gods so close to it as the Lord, our God, is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today. However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise Praise the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise Praise the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise Praise the the Lord of Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise Praise the the Lord of Jerusalem. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, 
but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, and the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law, until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So obviously we're in very new circumstances at this point. Um, and yet we hear uh, year after year and day after day the same appeal to living wisely, which is one of the main things in the reading from the book of Deuteronomy today. So we have to ask ourselves in these new circumstances, what does it mean to live wisely? And we each have varied answers to that question. So that's one thing in the reading today. <laughs> Another thing in there is um, that the Jews were consoled by the fact that they were so close to God, um, that they, they were like no other nation. So often the Jews are talking about their distinctness from other nations, and that's certainly here. And they are, they are happy about that because that's part, of, that's part of their faith, that's part of their relationship to God. But they are actually also saying that they are a model for other nations who can look at them. So there's a widening um, of the uh, point of view as well. To go back to the first point that, that I made um, in the nation exercises at the end, in the, what we call in various translations, the contemplation for obtaining love, we also reflect on how close God is to us and uh, how our relationship of love works between him and us, what he does for us, and how we respond to him in, in actions especially. So this, this is a very consoling reading, even though it's pushing us to our limits to follow God in the best and wisest way that we can. our needs and desires into God's hands. We pray that the church continue to um, help us understand God's word and thus helps us to respond to it wisely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Uh, we pray for <clears throat> all those who are sick already with this virus and sick in any way <clears throat> and for uh, our help and for those who have died, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. So in, um, in um, all the emails that we're getting as uh, faculty and staff here from people, um, there is some consolation as well with one of my favorite students that I've been teaching now for two and a half years. We just went back and forth on last night. He wanted to know exactly how to do the homework, but I was, he was saying, how are you doing down there? We just went back and forth chatting for a while, and um, that was very consoling. So for our students, for their, for their psychological and physical well-being at this time, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer for your intentions. Pray for elderly parents to stay healthy and strong during these challenging days of the virus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray that the virus is dealt with speedily and that God blesses those who are trying to cure it and find ways to find people with the virus. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Jenna Clymer, who will be baptized in a private ceremony this weekend, and Jack O'Reilly will stand as her godfather. For this intention, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We uh, pray to keep everyone safe um, and we give thanks for all that we have. For this intention, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all the vulnerable children who've lost the safety net of school communities. For this intention, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Um, we pray for this and for all the intentions entrusted to us. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we come before you with gratitude, and we ask 
ask that you continue to bless us as we place ourselves into your hands with confidence, because we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Amen. Accept, O Lord, we pray the prayers of your people, along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord and our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O oh God, who love the human race and will always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, and confess your, your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, 
whom you led through his passion and death on the cross for the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all that, sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection. Give them the fullness of life. <laughs> Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, the, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, O my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, <coughs> the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus Christ has taught us to pray, and so we pray in his words. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of you to shed it under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord.
Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord be with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks God. God.